our dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 41 in our series, NerdDice.com, where we build a tabletop role-playing game uh, using Ruby on Rails, not a, t a tabletop role-playing management application using Ruby on Rails 7. And uh, in this video, we are going to perform a Ruby upgrade here. So uh, this is April 3rd, 2023, and Ruby uh, released version 3.2.2 on March 30th. It's got a couple of security fixes, um, but also of note to us is, update this, um, We'd been having some issues with the debug gem being uh, kind of uh, blowing away its dependencies when you try to do a bundle update, which is causing our GitHub actions build to fail. Uh, in um, a couple episodes ago, we updated to Ruby 3.2.1 and uh, up also upgraded Rails. Uh, and to get around that, we just essentially manually hacked our gen file lock to um, have the correct dependencies that we're showing on rubygems.org for that uh, that item. So, uh, and then two episodes later, we tried to update devise with and did a bundle update and it once again kicked out those dependencies. So I had to revert and then just do bundle update on devise itself. So uh, we will move this it already is in progress uh, we'll take a look at the commit that just happened um, in the past couple of weeks and the changes are going to be very similar so ruby ver dash version uh, will change this to 3.2.2 gem file we will change to 3.2.2 and uh, and then gem file dot lock will run a, uh, a bundle uh, install and then a bundle update to um, update that. So let's get going. And then we'll obviously run our tests and um, Rubocop and everything to make sure that that's all still passing. So uh, in our Ruby dash version file here, we'll update this to 3.2.2, update this to 3.2.2. Uh, I'm using RVM, so I'm going to do RVM install 3.2.2. In the past, I have paused to do this, but it I'll let it um, continue here and run its, uh, its full course. It usually takes about 15 seconds total to install a Ruby version, unlike previous versions where it um, would take several minutes. So uh, now we'll do RVM use 3.2.2 dash dash default. And in, we are in the nerd dice root directory here. So I can just do a bundle install This is fetching and installing all of our gems. Tailwind CSS is usually the one that takes the longest. And we're good. Uh, now I'll just do, see what changed in our gem file.lock here. So just the Ruby version part uh, and the bundled with, so uh, we'll update all right so we do have a few things that changed here so it looks like device changed addressable some of these could be significant. Let me 
see where I'm still using the right version of Bundler here. Oops. Bundler still using 2.4.6. So we'll do bundle update bundler. Six. Point four points. I guess that's the the version. What was my my original warning message that we had there? Bundler two point four point ten is running. Point four point ten. Why am I running three point two point one? RVM use three point two point two. Point two. Can install bundler. It's 2.4.10, gemfile.lock. All right, now we will run Rubacop. No offenses detected. We already have an item in our backlog to evaluate Rubacop with the Capybara. We won't do that in this video. And then we'll do Rails test system and then test. I'll pause and let this run. All right, so our tests all passed. There is a deprecation warning with Selenium and um, Capybara. Uh, that's just a watch item. I'm not going to put anything on the backlog for now, but hopefully those um, deprecation warnings will be resolved um, before it becomes an issue. Uh, so the status, we'll check out a branch to do this. Get check out D. pause and write my message. All right, I've got my commit message and as of right now, I'm lying in it because we haven't yet checked the uh, dependencies in the debug gem, but we will do that now. So 1.7.2, make sure our dependencies Seven point two and 
those dependencies are correct. So our build should pass once we push it, which we can do now. Git push u origin. branch we can open our pull request create that pull request I will pause and allow my build to finish I'll write the build has passed, as is my custom, I will merge from the command line here, git checkout main, git merge branch, git push, git branch delete my old branch, go here, I'll delete the remote branch here. Go to number 42, completed by number 43, close with comment, backlog is updated and we'll see you in the next video. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.